you take this man to be your wedded husband, and do you earnestly from before God and these witnesses that you would love him, comfort him, honor, and obey him? <laughs> And forsaken all others for him only, we perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes her husband until God by death shall separate you. If you willing to do that, would you please say it? All right. <laughs> uh, we can't hear you. Could you repeat that? And look each other in the eye and repeat your vows to each other. Bernard, we'll start with you. I, Bernard. I, Bernard. Take thee clover. Take thee clover. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. For this, from this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or worse. For richer or poor. For richer or poor. In sickness, in health. In sickness, in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To death do us part. To death. Clover. <laughs> <laughs> honey. Honey. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I bless thee my faith. I pledge thee my faith. Okay, Clover, would you repeat this vow to Lenard? I, Clover, take thee, Lenard, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, Lenard, According to God's holy ordinance, to God's holy ordinance I, pledge thee I pledge thee my faith. Now, Lenard and Clover has chosen to do three things in this ceremony to symbolize their love for each other and their love for God and their love for this marriage that they are embarking upon at this moment. So at this time, we're going over to the unity table. Praise God. And they both go over to the unity table. And the first thing they're going to do is what they call the sand ceremony. And this symbolizes two lives becoming interwoven and uniform, unified into one life. And each of these grains of sand, sand, once they mix this sand, as you know, praise God, their lives become interwoven to the point that nothing should be able to separate them. They become unified in a special way to what God has designed called marriage. So would y'all commence with the sand ceremony and their one her clover sister gonna sing a song during this ceremony. Thank you. 
Now, Clover and Leonard, they are both Christians, saints of the Most High God, and they love God. And they have also chosen to celebrate the Lord in this relationship by partaking of Holy Communion. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, all as we do this, we do show forth. We do show forth his death, burial, and resurrection until he returns. Amen. Amen. So looking back retrospectively, we look back on all the wonderful things Jesus has done for us. But prospectively, we look on the fact that he's coming. And marriage is such a beautiful thing. And those of us who've been married for a while, we realize that no marriage could be lasting without the presence of Christ in that home. Amen. So Colvin, look, let me help you out. I got you there. Oh, time. Let me help you out. Yes, sir. Praise God. Clover and Lenore. Jesus said, This is my body, which was broken for you. It says, Eat my body often in remembrance of the sacrifice I made for you all in the world. Let us eat. And likewise, he took the cup. He said, This cup symbolizes my blood, which was shed on Calvary for your sins. He said, Drink this cup often in remembrance of that great sacrifice I made for you and your home. Let us drink together. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. That's good. Now let's come back over. Make your honor here. The bride out. Amen. Okay. I need to stand up here. Now, may I have the reins, please? Now, Lenore and Clover has chosen white gold, and it is gold, it's an alloy, but it is real gold. <laughs> <laughs> and gold is a unique metal, it's a precious metal. They get gold out of the earth, and they get gold out of mountains in various places. But gold has to be refined. It's already gold, but it has to be refined. Because sometimes it has a few impurities in it. And the way they refine gold, they refine gold through a process uh, uh, through fire, through a smelter. And when the gold is heated up, the, the, the dross, the stuff in the gold that you don't want goes one way, and the pure gold goes the other way. And what I'm trying to say, in a marriage, praise God, there are going to be some things going to come up in your relationship going to be fiery. And, and, and it doesn't mean, praise God, those fiery trials have to destroy your relationship. It just means when the fire comes, if you ain't God like you all are, the negative is going to go one way, and the positive is going to stay intact. Yeah. So as you look at these beautiful rings, and they're all beautiful, and they're going to represent many things, eternal union, eternal circle. But one thing they can represent is when you look at them, when you go through a trial, you can say, God, if you made these rings beautiful like they are through fire, these trials that come in our lives, they won't destroy us. They're going to make our lives more beautiful. And I really mean that. Let's bless these rings. Father, in the name of Jesus, as a nod and forward, prepare to exchange these rings. We ask you to bless these rings. Let these rings be as a token and a symbol. That if trouble by any chance come, they'll look at these rings and say, Father, if you could make these beautiful rings like they are through fire. If a trial happens to come our way, those trials are just going to make us better and not bitter. Bless these rings, we pray in Jesus' name. The Lord, would you take this ring and take over by our ring finger, a hand rather, and, and look at and repeat this about to her. Say, Clover. Clover, honey, honey, in token and pledge, in token and in pledge.
of our constant love. Of our constant love. And abiding faith. And abiding faith. faith. With this ring. With this ring. I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Son. And Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. You may place it on there. You. Somebody love you, sister. <laughs> when you take when you take him by his brain and hand and repeat this vow to him. Say Lenar. Lenar. Stupid out. <laughs> I marry you. I marry you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. Son. And the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. You may place it on this one. Thank you. 